Today is about you. When you better yourself, you better others. You better your profession. You better your family. So as I tell you my story today, think about your survival skills. Think about where you are in your life. And that's why you're here. Today you're here because you were given an opportunity. It taught me the value of moving forward in life and not living your life behind a closed door. I learned the value of these six words from taking this one opportunity. And I call these my six words to survival. Faith, attitude, determination, confidence, desire, and perseverance. It is in those times in our lives that we are challenged those are the times that we find out what our true survival skills really are. Well, believe me, when I told some of my family and friends that I was going to apply to be on a reality show, they truthfully thought I had lost my mind. Never let the odds keep you from doing something that you want to do. After we ended that conversation, I called Charlie, our three children, my mom, my stepdad, a couple girlfriends, and then I remembered, oh yeah, they told me I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. <laughs> have you ever signed up for something and the closer it got, you thought, what have I just gotten myself into? Charlie came out and he sat beside me and he noticed I was crying and he said, what's the matter? And I said, I'm backing out. I said, Charlie, I can't go to a different country and be dropped off in a jungle and have to try to survive for 39 days. Of course, Charlie looked at me and said, don't you think you should have thought about this before you applied? <laughs> yes, I should have. But what was I doing? What is the number one thing that holds us back? Fear. But it's amazing when you push forward without fear how a challenge can turn into an opportunity. Never let fear decide your fate. One thing about an opportunity is it's never lost. Someone will always take the one that you didn't. A setback is a setup for a comeback. You have a choice when you have a setback in your life. You can either go this way or you can continue to go this way. A setback is a setup for a comeback. Now, before I tell you this next story, I just want you to see how big these things are. Okay? And I look up and there stands a cameraman. Perhaps I need to start living my life like the cameras were rolling 24 hours a day. Perhaps we all need to start living our lives like the cameras were rolling 24 hours a day. Being more aware of our words and our actions. But I hit day five and I was done. The former NFL football coach for the Dallas Cowboys who was on my tribe. Why did I walk up to Coach Johnson? I walked up to Coach Johnson because I looked up to Coach as a leader. I looked up to Coach as a mentor. But when he said those words to me, I started believing that I could probably do this because he inspired me. Who's your Jimmy Johnson? As I got up from that log, all I could think about is, he's right, I need to start playing this game. I walked back to camp, I found Dan, whose shoes I stole on national television, and I told him I was sorry, and they aired it. I actually got more hate email for telling the guy I was sorry than for taking his shoes. <laughs> to move forward, and it all starts with attitude. You are perceived every single day by your attitude, and it's the one consistent thing you choose to control. What was your attitude like this morning when you got up? First time in my life, I felt like I was not living behind a closed door. If you're living your life behind a closed door, grab that knob and close it and leave it. We go to tribal council that night, and I truly thought these guys were going to vote me off. I made it to the final four. Being the last woman in the game and being the last member of the older tribe, I was left with three young gentlemen. Life is about the relationships that we have. It's not what we have, it's who we have. And in business, you don't build a business, you build people. You see, I'm not the true survivor. I felt like I was not living behind a closed door. I knew I had to grab that knob and open that door and walk through it and close it behind me. You have got to be kidding me. He wore that ugly shirt. <laughs> uh, well, look at that shirt he wore. I mean, I brought it with today just to show you how ugly it is. Uh, and then I got home and I said, Charlie, why did you wear that shirt? And he said, because it looked tropical. <laughs> what? 
how your potential lies within your interpretation of a situation and your ability to turn adversity into strength. Today is about you. Never give up because nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start right here today and make a new ending.